Good morning and welcome to Virtual Bridge. Um, and this is the 116th session, my goodness. Um, well, we know in this time we've been through the emergency measures of uh, changing over from the tradition of our, our previous ways of working over to online and support has obviously been pretty key in that. And whether that's uh, peer support or uh, community support, then that's all important. One of the ways in which people can be supported, of course, is through mentoring. And I'm very pleased to have with us this morning, Lorna McMullen of uh, New College Lanarkshire to tell us about um, creating a mentorship programme and, and what that might mean. Lorna, over to you. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, I've got a little presentation, um, so I'm just going to show that and talk you through what we did, how we started and where we are. So, fingers crossed this way actually works. <laughs> yeah, so mentorship, we, it, it began um, through a college improvement project. Um, there were five colleges in Scotland involved in our a new college Lanarkshire, we were given the retention and attainment area to sort of explore and investigate and come up with a project as to how we could actually like, help with retention and attain attainment. So that the, the government project had started in 2017. So in 2018, um, I attended in the September. So, and the idea was to create a mentorship program. So I kind of came back and thought, right, where, where will I start? So how do I do this? So we began like that in the planning stage. So I was given two areas um, which had low retention and attainment, two specific subject areas. So I then sort of put together a presentation and like a training session and thinking right okay what can we do so what we did was we took the higher level in the two subject areas so we took the HNs and we were teaming them up as training them as mentors and teaming them up with the lower level um, students in the course the lower level courses um, so I started the training session and um, we took the HNs in, and I, when I came away in September 2018, I thought, right, okay, I'm going back. I'm going to have eight mentors and 16 mentees. That, that's my, my goal. Um, and anyway, I delivered the training to the HN of the first group, HNC, HND, and asked, it was because it was a voluntary basis, asked who would like to be a mentor. And they all signed up. Then I took the low level group and said, who would like a mentor? Um, and they all signed up, they all wanted it. Then I went to the next subject area, same again, everybody signed up. Um, and then I was asked to go to a couple of subject areas to say, Lorna, we've heard this programme and it's working, it's great. Can you come along and take our HNs? Will you train them? So I was like, yeah, okay. So the pilot, was meant to be 16 mentees and eight mentors. Anyway, I ended up with, I think it was 160 mentees and 120 mentors. So things got a little crazy along the way, but I kept delivering the training. I kept answering the emails. I kept supporting, I kept in touch with the, the, the curriculum areas, but the staff were great as well because the staff were all on board because they knew this was going to help and they had came to me for help. So um, they were all on board, the staff and each of the sections were, were a great support to me as well as, as I worked through the programme. So then after the pilot, we thought, do you know what, this is really working, this is great. And in that little YouTube video, there's a, an Animoto, which Kenji's going to share at the end of the presentation because I'm having IT issues. Um, it shows the kind of journey and it actually has some stats and things in it. So when we were at learning and teaching meetings along the way, we looked at the stats, we looked at the trend data, and it was apparent that there was something that was making a difference. And it had been on the introduction of this mentorship programme with certain specific areas that were, were actually needed the help and the support. 
So you'll see the stats because they're in that little video. It's just a wee screenshot. So then moving on from there, we thought, right, let's roll this out to the whole college. So we thought, right, what do we do? How do we do it? So we created a poster, which we put up around the campuses. We put it on the website. We put it on My Day, which is now My N uh, NCL now. So we sort of like marketed it and publicised it across all of the campuses. So more training requests came in. And I just kept doing the training sessions and tying up with the mentors and the mentees and delivering training to each of them. So then we're doing that in the background. I was working on a handbook, so I created a mentorship handbook, um, which is all of the sort of paperwork and things like that and the contracts and things that, and, and advice um, suggested agendas for meetings where between the mentor and the mentee. So there are lots of stuff um, in there for, for both the mentors and the mentees and the staff whose students were involved. They all have access to it as well. So once we had created the, the handbook, then I thought, right, OK, how do I share this as well? So we ended up, I created a Moodle. Well, I didn't. The e-learning guys <laughs> created a Moodle course for me and I populated it. Um, and it became a dedicated area. I attached all the mentors, the mentees and all of the staff to it as well. So we had all of the different, this is just a wee kind of screenshot of the different things that we have on it. So we had an area for mentors, an area for mentees and there's an area for staff on it as well. Um, and like that, all of the stuff that was there, all of the, all of the, the handbook, and I kind of broke it up into the tabs so that the mentors knew where they were going when I was asking them to submit something, um, when they were recording their meetings, like just keeping the key points. So that's just all of the areas. So you can see that we also created an area specific for the, 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 um, the subject areas that were on board. So that was the initial when we started um, rolling out the programme developing it from the pilot and um, so I created specific areas and um, because there were things that were sort of contextualized for such areas so in on the middle there's like the application so we fill in an application we have a contract where they sign a confidentiality statement between them and they tell us how they're communicating you know is it via email is it whatsapp is it mobile phone so that we know how they're actually communicating. Um, there's a, a wish list in it for the mentee to say, here's my wish list, this is what I want from my mentor, this is what I would like, and it's graded. So we say to them, pick your top three, you know, and, and let's work on that. So, and myself and Learn Engagement, we keep in touch with the mentors and we help them through to work with the mentees. Um, there's a little timetable there, which we ask them to fill in both mentors and mentees. The reason being is that, you know, somebody's got like the mentors got football every Wednesday night at five o'clock and the mentee, that's the only time they're available. That's not a suitable pairing. So it's just we, we ask questions and things so that we can pair them up accordingly. There's a little record there. It's top line. We only need to sort of what was the conversation about how was it, how you know how how were you contacted? Was it mobile? Was it WhatsApp? We don't need to know the ins and outs that we don't want war and peace. It was just so that we know what's going on because they submit the record at the end of the programme. So this was how we the initial kind of starting um, and we used the, the training. So the training sessions. Um, 2018-19, so we did the three mentee training and three mentor training sessions with the, the classes, uh, the high level and the lower level classes. So then um, last year, because it was getting too big and we were getting a lot of requests, so the learner engagement team came on board to support me um, and how we recruited mentors that last year in 1920 we actually reached out to the class reps across all of the campuses so the class reps came 
and they'd done all the training with me. It was voluntary again, but needless to say, there was probably over a hundred um, attended and they were all trained as mentors again last year. So it was just growing and growing. But as I said, learner engagement were with me to um, help me deliver the sessions. So they attended as well. Um, again, we done the training sessions across all of the campuses um, and the three main campuses. So we opened up the sessions and then we also asked if there was any additional sessions needed. We delivered that as well. If I couldn't make it, learner engagement took over. So we were constantly having requests. Um, there were some sort of smaller training sessions, some smaller groups, some one-to-ones that needed to be um, take place. So, and this, um, this is just a little video of the training session. It's an activity that I do so that they understand what their role is as a mentor or a mentee. Um, you know, what is the role and responsibility of a mentor and what is sort of ethical practice for a mentee as well. So this is just a little clip of the, um, the training. This is the training session last year that we did. Hopefully, fingers crossed this works. So that, that was our training, as I said, just that's just some of the photographs. We've got actually hundreds. <laughs> so then it became apparent as well because we were looking into the mentors and the mentees that some of them, um, you know, like had specific um, learner support needs. Um, so I engaged with um, the education uh, ELS, I know if I say that, education learning support team so they became involved and what I did was when I paired up the mentor and the mentee I um, submitted that to the ELS team and they looked through any learning plans any support plans to make sure that there were no sort of conflicts or no issues arising and that the mentor and the mentee were suitably paired so that was really good um, and it was really comforting to know that somebody was kind of looking so that we would avoid having issues further down the line with the, the, the peers. Um, further development, just due to the volume, we actually created a, um, a, a mentorship, sorry, a mentorship email uh, inbox because it was becoming like crazy in my inbox so we put we created a dedicated one which we tried to correspond with the mentors and mentees they all have it it's on our um end clan area uh, staff and students have access to it um so it's maintained by myself and the learner engagement team so we're all on it and so that any requests coming in they're picked up like within 24 hours and the mentor or the mentees contacted. Um, so that that's really proved um, useful uh, this year because of the volume and because of the lockdown, obviously, um, we were getting a lot more um, requests for a mentor. So, and as well through that inbox and the emails and myself and learner engagement, we have sort of drop-in sessions and we did that face to face on the campus. Um, we drop in sessions just to say, hi, how are you getting on? Have you got any issues? Do you need any support? Mentors and mentees. So learner engagement and I, we have taken care of that. And of course, we're now still doing it because we're now doing it via Zoom. Um, so the mentorship programme, as I said, was done through, advertised through the posters. Um, through NCLAN, um, and then we used the, it was formerly My Day, the app that we had, the student app, which is now my NCL app. So it's there, and it's actually part of the student support and mental health and wellbeing. So it's in the app there as well. 
um, and that group kind of contribute to it as well when they meet, they talk about the mentorship and where we are and how you know we're progressing with it. So that's became a big part of the mental health and wellbeing support for the students. Evaluation, what we do, what we have done and, and will continue to do is do a mid-evaluation with the mentors and the mentees just to say how you getting on, how do you think the programme, is there anything that you feel that we could um, add to it uh, to help you or support you or enhance it, which that's where the poster came from, the My Day app, the health and the mental health and wellbeing group being involved. So these were all suggestions and feedback that came from the very pilot. So we've taken everything on board from all of the participants in the programme and we evaluate it mid and then we evaluate it at the end as well. And as I said, it's continual support. We're there all the time, um, myself and the learner engagement team. So the recognition um, for the mentors, what we have uh, done is we've created a certificate so at the beginning they did get the be engaged endorsement and the recognition for there and they also a letter um, for their cv so with our new principal coming along he's very interested in the mentorship program and we said about a certificate and he had said about a celebration of achievement awards ceremony so that was in the pipeline for last year but because of all of that happened, we didn't actually get to that point. So that is something this year, fingers crossed, we're back on campus and that will be a very special event. Um, as I said, Christopher is so interested and obviously supporting the students is, is key um, and even more so in this virtual world that we're having to um, learn in. So they've got, we created the certificate, that was the brand team, marketing did that as well. And then they, they received the Be Engaged endorsement. Um, and also a letter to add to their CV, which obviously, you know, it's additional, it's voluntary. It enhances their CV and makes them stand out for the crowd really when they're going for a job application or a, an application to another educational institution for progression um, or their chosen career path. So uh, as, as I said, it's voluntary. So um, that's a good sort of extracurricular thing that the students become involved in um, and get some accolade for. So these are just, this is just one of the testimonials that I got back on the feedback and it became, the mentorship became really important when we went into lockdown last year because the students were really struggling. So we got a lot more requests. So we took on board even late on just to have that one-to-one -one peer support. Um, the staff, you know, we were all grappling. We've been sort of catapulted into a, a virtual world. So it became really important. And these are, you know, the, this is the mentors uh, feedback, what, what they go out of it. And obviously the mentee um, really, really appreciated the support last year um, as she, she was struggling with the lockdown and coursework and having to work online as well and having to IT and things like that. So the next steps uh, in the plan for New College Lanarkshire is that we have, well, the brand team have created a, a New College Lanarkshire web release. So it will be getting launched via our web. Um, and just very, very recently in the past few days, um, the Voluntary Action North Lanarkshire Council Group are involved to look, sort of explore and enhance and support the learner experience at New College Lanarkshire. So they were really interested in the mentorship programme with the updates and where we were. So they're actually going to recognise it, um, the contribution as well. So the Saltire Volunteering Award programme. So they've now became interested and became involved, which is, a, as I said, it's only, it's actually this week that that came in. Um, which is really good so we've got buy in for somebody else who are really on board with us. And then coming to that, we were saying, right, okay, we're supporting the students 
so what about staff? So that's my next task, is a staff mentoring programme. So there are a few staff on board with that, gave me ideas, passed me things. Um, so that's in the early stages of the planning. So we hope to be able to have a staff mentoring programme so that we've got that sort of support me mechanism between the staff and the students um, as a whole organisation. Um, so that, that's been the journey and it's been a lot of work. But when you see, you know, the feedback and the testimonials and you see the thank yous you get and you see the lovely emails, lovely messages, um, it really, it makes it all worthwhile. Um, even although some days I tear my hair out, <laughs> it is worthwhile and it's been a pleasure. Um, and it's something that I think I'll continue to do forever more. It wasn't a part of my role, but I really enjoyed it. And I just I just love working with the students. It's great um, to be sort of on the ground there. So this is just a little quote that I think is great, you know, to say that um, there's no lack of knowledge out there. There's just that shortage of asking for help. And students, you know, some people, are, they struggle, but they don't want to say I need help. So by reaching out and giving them that olive branch and giving them that opportunity to volunteer as a mentor or to come forward and say, I would like a mentor, um, it makes it easier. They don't need to think, oh, I don't like to ask for help. Um, it's given to them. It's presented. It's there. It's ours. Um, we're there for the students. Um, so, yeah, it's been a, a, a long journey, but we've developed it very quickly, very fast based upon the feedback. That's why we keep continuing with the development and we will keep enhancing it as we get requests and as we get the feedback and suggestions and say, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you offer this? Why don't you try this? Could we have this? So anything that's requested is developed and put onto the, the dedicated area on our VLE, on our Moodle area. So that's basically the journey at New College Lancashire. And as I said, we will continue to constantly develop it. Um, and it is enhancing the student experience. So uh, Kenji, can I just hand over to you for the little video and then I can ask, take any questions. I'm having IT issues. So Kenji's going to show my wee Animoto presentation from the pilot. <laughs>
Thank you, and there's nothing like an uplifting video to finish off. Um, I'll jump in with a question, uh, first of all. Um, it's often the case that those who might actually benefit most from such programmes, especially being a mentee, but maybe also as being a mentor, are the ones that don't come forward for a voluntary programme. Can I ask what uh, particular steps you've taken to try and involve as many as possible that could benefit? Yeah, Again, we just sort of opened it up to, you know, the class reps. As I said, it was voluntary, so we sort of said, right, okay, we have this training session, um, learner engagement. They went out, as I said, last year it was the class reps we used because we thought, right, okay, we've got some mentors. Um, and I must say, we've actually got mentors who have returned again this year from last year because they so enjoyed it and they got a lot out of it and they really like leadership skills and collaboration communication skills and um, they've developed uh, a lot of that so as i said we, we we just put it out in the poster we put it on the my day app which is now my ncl and they've came forward and staff are actually coming forward they're saying to the learners um listen there's this mentorship program is any of you would you like a mentor and the mentees have actually came forward for sale and they were saying, oh, what is this about? So because the staff have access to the, the dedicated area, they can go in and show the students and say, well, here's what you can do. Here's what the benefits and here are the challenges and here's the development of it. Um, and the students have actually just said, yeah, I would really like to be involved in that. Uh, I would like to be a mentor or I would like to be a mentee. So, and I've Myself and learner engagement, we've joined a few classes this year as well, who have not all of the class, but maybe four or five out of certain classes. And we've been asked to come along and join the beginning of their lesson to speak to the students and let them know what it's about. And at the end, they were all like, well, can, can I get an application form? I want to do this. So it's it's been, uh, yeah, as I said, just voluntary. So they're just coming forward and we've had quite a few requests. I was saying that earlier to Kenji um, just before Christmas and just after that because we've obviously got, uh, we've got January starts coming in who um, need support and because it's a virtual learning environment and we've, when the, the new lockdown came we got a wee influx of people coming forward and saying I would like to have a mentor, I would like to have peer support here, um, can you assign me a mentor? So and there's another training session on Monday for all of the new people that are the new requests that have come in. So we're doing a training with the mentors and training with the mentees. Excellent. Well, there's about 101 other questions, but for the purpose <laughs> of our video and our recording, then we're going to bring this recorded part to a close. So Lorna, there's never been a more important time for learner engagement and support. And it's been great to hear about the programme at New College Lanarkshire um, and onwards and upwards with it indeed. So thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.